Good morning, this is Greg Hernandez with NASDAQ's Market Intelligence Desk with today's look at the markets for Thursday, July 8th. Futures are pointing higher this morning, and that's after news on weekly initial jobless claims that we receive every Thursday morning here in New York at 8.30 New York time. Now, the initial jobless claims uh, came in at 454,000. That's a nationwide uh, weekly figure, and that's better than the market's expectations of 460,000. So, you know, these weekly jobless claims have been caught somewhat in a range in the mid 400, uh, we will say, uh, but slightly better than expected, and that was enough to lift the futures uh, from close to unchanged to higher uh, this morning. We're also uh, waiting on news on the same store sales figures. Uh, that's the International uh, Center of Shopping Centers. That comes out uh, monthly, uh, and uh, we did see uh, that, um, uh, that in May, um, sales were up 2.6 percent, that same store sales, and we are waiting for the figure uh, for June this morning, and we'll hear a lot of headlines on individual uh, names of department stores and uh, chain stores here in the United States. Market participants are also looking at the 10-year bond yields. This has been very, very interesting. Yields are very, very low. So with the sl flight to safety uh, to U.S. Treasuries due to the European crisis and uh, fears of a global slowdown, uh, that has brought yields down to below 3%. They're just over 3% this morning uh, on those uh, initial jobless claims. Again, uh, evidence of maybe uh, a slightly strengthening e economy. And uh, so people have been keeping an eye on that. The main takeaway is that those low yields uh, mean a greater chance of deflation or recession uh, rather than inflation. So very, very uh, uh, interesting news there from uh, from the bond market. Also out of Europe, the European Central Bank left their key rates uh, unchanged at 1% this morning. That's all. This has been Greg Hernandez with NASDAQ's Market Intelligence Desk.